Hello everyone. It has been quite some time since I've filmed a YouTube video and um, like every other time I've kind of gone off the face of the earth and then decided to come and start making videos again I always say the same thing uh, I always feel like a calling to it or like I just I don't know I just get a really big urge to kind of just film content and um, it's been something that I've been thinking about for some time and just getting in my head about it and I'm sick of getting in my head about it so I just want to take action and just film um, and get stuff out there because I do enjoy it and that fear of failing is a reality when you're not even trying so yeah um I thought basically it's my birthday actually tomorrow but I'm going out for a dinner um tonight with my family to celebrate said birthday I'm turning 30 which is amazing um so I'm gonna get ready for that and whilst getting ready for that I thought I would just film I'm not gonna do like a proper get ready with me like explaining everything that I'm using I'm not doing any of that but I just thought it'd be a good time to film and catch up and um kind of just discuss how I've been feeling recently and um just discuss about YouTube and my fears around that and all that kind of stuff. I've had conversations with the, about this with people in person, like in reality, and I just thought I might as well just have a conversation on camera because I'm sure that there's loads of people out there that are in a similar boat or have a feeling that is similar um, so that we can connect. Uh, basically, I always just get really in my head about like YouTube and things like that because I actually do genuinely really like creating content and I do actually like just any sort of way of being creative if that makes sense so um, I do kind of lean towards doing more creative um, hobbies and things like that so I really started up pottery when I moved to like Swindon um and that's something that i haven't been able to really do much at the moment because in the flat there's not really much space that i can kind of do pottery like i did have in swindon like i had that spare room in the house in swindon so i kind of set up in there and was able to kind of be a bit more creative with pottery because i had that space whereas i don't really have it in the flat um which is is fine I guess but I've not really had been able to kind of express myself creatively in a while and I have been feeling I don't really know exactly how to put it into words so it's just going to probably sound a lot like word vomit because I'm trying to like compartmentalize it myself and understand it myself um, I do also think that the fact that I am turning 30 and, you know, you're going into your Saturn returns uh, probably also kind of is making me just like really look into my life a little bit more because I think your whole 20s is a bit of a weird like experience because before that so like your whole childhood is you just in education right and like adults telling you that you're not an adult and that you're a child and then when you finish with education whether that's you stop at um after school or you finish at a levels and you don't go to university or you go to uni and then you like start done with your education or it's college or whatever it is but once you're done with education and you start working full time it's like you're just an adult now like that's it and you're kind of like it's it's very anticlimactic when you finish well I went to uni so finishing uni and then starting like work was extremely anticlimactic and once you're working full time it's so easy to get into pilot mode because you start doing a routine, right? So you're either working Monday to Friday or you're doing a rotor or whatever it is, but you have your five days that you're working, you've only got two days off and 
you just get into that routine of like doing the same route to and from work and then you're doing the same things when you're off and it, it's very just like autopilot mode and I always really freaked out at the fact that like once you're done with <laughs> education it's like that's it you're uh you're doing that for the rest of your life if you get what I mean like once you're working full-time that's what you're doing for like the rest of your life not that you stay in the same job but you're just working for the rest of your life until you die now basically or well retire um and that just really freaked me out because as a true little saggy I do really value freedom and I value like spontaneity and yeah this is the primer sorry spontaneity and just being able to like do whatever I want um so I really struggled with like getting into work and also I'm the type of person as well where like I don't really know what I want to do I kind of do and I don't if you get what I mean like I'd like I like to explore things and um I like to do multiple things I get bored I can get bored quite easily um but I am a good and hard worker like I will say that like at my current job like I do work hard and I always have thought and felt like whatever you are doing even if it's not like a long-term thing that you're looking to do like career wise you should still put your like full effort into because experience is experience and you'll never know what you just never know what the future is going to have or what the future holds and you just don't know what kind of skill set you're going to need and if you put all of your effort into whatever it is you're doing and you have a good reputa reputation for yourself you also just don't know who is going to be in the future of your life in the sense that like someone that you might be working with in a job that might not even be your forever job could potentially go into a business that you actually really want to get into and they might then be hiring or looking for someone and they think of you because they remember how hard working you are and that kind of stuff anyway i always just think that if you're going to put your name to something regardless of what it is you should put effort into it and you should you know like at least try to improve and try and grow that skill set and yeah basically like having skills in that aspect is never going to be a bad thing regardless of what it is like you go into retail for example it's not um a bad skill to have to be able to sell because actually sales is a really good skill set to have anyway i digress i kind of am going a bit off tangent here i've kind of just been feeling like I have this idea in my head of what I want my life to be like, right? And I think we all do that. I think we all kind of create this dream life in our heads that we all aspire to have and we kind of try and go for that. And in my head, since I was a child, before even knowing what I really wanted to do, and even now I'm not like 100% sure on what I really want to do, I have an idea of things that I'm interested in and things that I would really like to explore, but fucking god knows if that's going to be my end forever goal i don't know um but since i was a kid i always loved the idea of like working for myself and having businesses and being rich and um just being free to be able to like look after my family and work on my terms and do whatever i wanted to do whenever i wanted to do not that i didn't want to work hard but i just didn't like the idea of like being stuck in a place like I've always liked the idea that like if I wanted to treat my family to a lovely holiday that I could do that and do that whenever I wanted to and not have to ask for permission when I have to go or if if that makes sense um and I always liked the idea of being able to just be spontaneous and take really spontaneous trips and not have to plan too far in advance and jump through loads of hoops to do that like I really want to just experience life and not really have boundaries getting in the way of that that was kind of always my dream really and that's why I think I had created this idea in my head that I wanted to work for myself because I thought in my head that's probably the only way that I'd be able to do that which I do still think I'll be honest I do still think that 
to have that kind of level of freedom you kind of have to be able to like work from anywhere slash work for yourself so now that i'm turning 30 and i'm kind of looking back at my life in general and i just feel a little bit there's so many things that i've done that i'm super duper proud of right there are like i'm super grateful at a lot of achievements that i've had like i've graduated university i've bought my first home um i've got married and i moved away moved back <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that i'm really proud of um at this point in my life but then there's also a lot of things that i feel like i could have done differently um or there's just certain things that i'm like I don't know what the right word is because it's not disappointed but like I this is the only word that I can think of but like I'm disappointed in myself almost a little bit for like not really trying and uh, that's not the right word just bear in mind that's not the right word but one of those things is YouTube for example right because I do genuinely like creating content and there's been so many moments in my life in interactions that i've had with people where you know i've been giving people advice or we're just having like a somewhat deep conversation and they always say to me like oh, that's, you're like that's really helpful like you should have a blog or you should have a youtube channel or god you should be like a life coach or something like that and these are things that i'm genuinely interested in as well like i do actually really love giving people advice because i just think that <laughs> i'm really good at it not that i listen to myself a lot but um i just have no idea how to do that i'd have no idea how to like venture out into where the hell is my oh there i just have no idea how to like venture out into that kind of industry of being like a coach and things like especially in the uk for fuck's sake because i think like it's a very american thing almost i feel like in america a lot of people would pay for like a life coach or whatnot but it's not really that much of an english thing like we're not like i just couldn't imagine people doing that but i do still really like giving advice and i think it's more so as well like knowing that i can help someone i really enjoy that sort of service being in service um of a person if that makes any sense but like for example my role my job is um like i'm a deputy store manager basically but the main part of it is obviously to do with sales but um uh, it's to do with my team and like making sure that they are fully trained and coached and mentored and they're confident in doing their job and doing it to the best of their ability and helping people get to that point and like I really enjoy that aspect I really enjoy like working with other people and like building up their confidence because that's ba basically what I'm doing I'm not really like the best salesperson in the world I'm not like the worst I'm not the best but what I have actually found the majority of like my job and like when I am mentoring people it is just building up people's confidence a lot of the time and like helping them see how great they are and that they can do certain things and whatnot but and that's what i really like because i am genuinely actually quite i'm actually a very confident person um and being able to help other people kind of believe in themselves a little bit more and and build up that confidence because it's let me take back believe in themselves a little bit more because I don't think it's necessarily self-belief. I think it's more like just self-confidence. Every time I use this brush, it's like brush, 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 bristles <laughs> of the brush go into my nose. It makes me quite itchy. Um, but I do just genuinely really love helping people grow and develop and grow in their like confidence of their ability, I guess is the right way of putting that. So, I really just want to like, 
I don't know. I just want to kind of be of service of some some way. And I think like if I just I don't think that being like a life coach or something is just even feasible in the UK. I really don't because I don't think a lot of people would want that. But I do think that this is it's I'm getting to the point, guys. I'm really sorry. I do like ramble on and I haven't really thought about what I wanted to say. This is kind of just like being able to just get it off my chest because uh, it's something that it's been swaying swaying swirling around in my head a lot and it's just quite nice to be able to just speak it out so it's going to be a little bit word vomity and not really much structure but um anyway i kind of feel like that's where youtube comes in right because i don't think a lot of people are gonna pay for a life coach in the uk however they might watch a video that might help them a little bit, you know, might help them um, rethink something or understand themselves a little bit better or might even help with their confidence. God knows what. But so that's why I always keep coming back to YouTube. And I think I've always kind of just like I personally really like lifestyle content, right? I just think like life in general it's just something that we all need a bit of help with and I think in a selfish manner <laughs> I would really like to be able to like create content and build like a community around a lifestyle so that I personally can find other people that will help me also be a bit better um, because that's just what life is about right however what I see a lot on my Instagram I just I'm like almost a bit sick of it like I'm sick of seeing this whole like fast paced hustle 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 kind of culture um, and quick money um, quick get rich quickly kind of schemes that I have definitely fell for um I'm like sick of seeing that kind of stuff all the time and I just keep thinking in my head I'm like just fucking slow down Lil like just slow down life is not guaranteed for one but also like you have no idea what the hell is going to happen in the future you have no idea what's going to happen next like later on in life or if there even is an afterlife or god knows what but why am i in such a rush to like do all of these things or like why am i in such a rush to like i don't even know like it, I'm just like rushing for no reason. I actually have no idea why I feel like I need to do things so quickly and everyone's feeling the same. I know it for a fact that everyone is feeling the same because God, I've spoken to like all of my friends. <laughs> so that means everyone. Um, but I've spoken to so many people, like colleagues, friends, like, and everyone feels the same. Everyone feels like it's just a big, big rush and like they're comparing themselves to other people and feel like they're either really behind or god knows what and i just it's really confusing it's all just a bit really confusing and that's why i just like even with youtube right i'm gonna be like super duper honest even with youtube because nobody just uploads a youtube video nowadays especially knowing what youtube is you know like everyone is fully aware of what potential there is in youtube and making videos and and that you can have a career in it so like no one's uploading really without the thought of like hoping to, to build a career and hoping to like be able to create something out of that right even if people are saying like oh yeah i just uploaded like no like no one's putting in that much effort like it's effort it is effort youtube because you've got to film it and then you've got to edit it and make a thumbnail and then you're just like having to upload that and then you're having to try and think of like more and more content so that you're consistent and all this kind of stuff and this is genuinely like 
where I think I was getting in my head so much about it because obviously I would really love to be able to build some sort of thing out of this and be able to like you know work for myself like I was just saying in like prior in the start-ish of this video like I would love to be able to um build some sort of thing out of YouTube and be able to like create content and do whatnot and work for myself essentially so I then start overthinking right and I start thinking in my head like and because I've also had conversations with people and they've been like oh my god you'd be so good at doing that I've like built up now in my head how it's gonna be if that makes sense like I've built up like oh yeah I could do this and I could do that and like what if I got to this level and like I could I, and what if I got to a point where I was able to like quit my job and do that full time and, and that'd be so amazing and then I build it up in my head before it's even happened before I've even like built up consistency of just even creating content and uploading that and I then obviously start to self-doubt myself when I'm actually trying to do it so when I do start trying to take action and I'm starting to actually try and create content and do all of that and I'm thinking okay like be in a service mindset like what would I want to see but also what would be really helpful for anyone else out there what are kind of thoughts I've been having what content and then I start thinking oh I need to try and think about a niche and just stick with that but I personally as a person I'm so like all over the place and like interested in multiple different things and yeah so I just don't really like I just get so much in my head and then I start thinking as well like I think this is also a lot of like through education I kind of also did this as well like uni a little bit but kind of snapped out of it just in time but if I really try and I commit and I really put in the effort and I don't make it and like I don't get to the level that I created in my head and I don't have that kind of like able like ability to be able to like do it full time and not have to work that will be soul crushing and I don't know if I can really take that risk and like handle that if it doesn't work out if I really actually put in my effort and and then it just doesn't work out like if it does that make sense so so then I just stop doing it because I'm like well if I don't put in as much effort or I don't really do my give it my all then I can always say well that wasn't a hundred percent like that wasn't me really really trying so I know that if I really really tried it would be good so it's like a lie that I can tell myself because I didn't really really try <laughs> but then I just end up being really miserable because I've not like I because I want to do it and I want to try but I'm scared that I'm going to be bad at it or I'm scared that I'm going to fail I guess is what the real fear is um so that's why I'm back again <laughs> creating YouTube videos because I do want to do it I'm just scared that I'm not going to be very good at it and I'm going to fail so I'm kind of taking it day by day I need to really like there's a lot of work that I need to do on myself so this is why I'm just thinking in my in my head as like a benefit like just do it for myself hello sorry um the camera stopped recording I think I was just blabbing on for too much because yeah obviously I was so I really do just need to do it for myself and um just document my kind of journey and hopefully this will resonate with a lot of other people that would be nice but ultimately I need to do it for myself because I think it will help me with routine and now that I'm in this like you know I'm 30 now and I've done so much, I have, I am really grateful for that and I'm grateful for a lot of the things that I've been able to accomplish but God, I've just like, there's just so much that I still want to do and like I just think like 30 years have already gone by, fuck 
I need to be able to like I just need to start taking action and just being a bit more accountable and actually like trying to be the person that I want to be and like lead the life that I actually want to lead and the life that I imagine for myself in my head because it's not going to come to me if I don't bloody try like it's not just going to magically I'm not just going to magically wake up one day and just be like oh my god I like I'm such a healthy person and I'm like really happy and content in life I am actually quite happy to be fair but like I'm not fully content and I think that's down to myself because there are a lot of things that I just need to work on um and I know that I'm so much happier when I'm like I have a bit of a better balance and my balance isn't quite there at the moment like I don't really have much balance um at all and I do a hell of a lot of escapism um and my biggest uh tool for escapism I don't really know what to say with that but the biggest thing that I do for escapism is like tv like so basically just like watching series and movies uh, mostly series but like I will just binge watch stuff and I'm not even watching live tv because who watches live tv anymore but I literally have all the passes like I've got now tv I've got amazon prime disney plus apple tv netflix like I, i've got it all so i can watch whatever i want whenever i want basically um and i do i really have i do actually it, it does i could spend quite easily an entire day binge watching a tv series like an entire day easily um so just off topic a little bit but when I do makeup sometimes I look at it and I actually really like how it looks without mascara but then I also think it probably does need mascara um so I'm gonna put mascara on and I'm just gonna hope to god that it doesn't actually no I don't think I'm gonna put mascara on um so yeah basically i binge watch a lot and that's my kind of escapism of reality and it's something that i need to really work on because it's not like how i imagine myself being and also it's not like it does bring me joy but because i do it so much it um I feel guilty and shame about it because it's like there's other things that I want to do and I just almost am like paralysed and don't do it um, which isn't great which is not great at all but I know that there are a lot of people who feel the same this is kind of a conversation that like me and Ja have my best friend um because your 20s really is crazy and wild and you are like figuring things out but like everyone's hitting milestones and it's really strange because it is extremely competitive but it's like a silent competitiveness and it's wild like I remember early 20s or uh, early 20s to mid 20s a lot of people I was going to school went to school with were like having children and starting a family or like getting married and doing all these wild things well they're not wild really it's just life isn't it but I remember thinking it was crazy and like whoa like no way like, I'm not at that point in my life at all and that's absolutely fine and it's absolutely fine if you are at that point and you do do all of those things quite early um it's like everyone's on their own timeline but I remember feeling like that was fucking wild and I couldn't believe that these people were doing these kinds of things it's like oh my god I could never um and now here I am what lip do I want to do maybe the fancy lip gloss um anyway now I'm turning 30 and 
you know, I got married this year. And the whole conversation about the next uh, point of our lives, you know, starting a family is very much prominent. It's very much something that we are discussing. Not like right now, but soon. And soon is like, you know, within a year or two, like we would possibly like to maybe start trying. And when I'm thinking about that, I'm like, Jesus Christ, in a year or two, like I'm not, I'm not at the point in my life that I pictured when I was gonna start having kids, if that makes sense. So when in my head, I'd always pictured like being a very hands-on mum um, and being very flexible in terms of like my work and being able to like prioritize raising my family and being there for my kids and all that kind of stuff. Where I am right now, what I'm currently doing, I just can't picture that being a full, full reality at the moment. Um, which is, just freaks me out. But... That is, again, another reason why I just keep thinking about it and just keep coming back to the fact that I'm just like I really do just need to try <laughs> I just need to try and that not be so scared that if I do really try and it doesn't work out like I need to get rid of that fear that it's going to not be enough because I am enough and everything happens for a reason and it's a great thing for me like I always feel so much better when I'm like creating content and I'm just a lot more balanced in my life and I'm not being so avoidant and like using binging tv series to like escape from reality really and just basically switching on autopilot and letting life just happen and things just happen and not take action and take control over them because as much as I believe in like manifestation and I'm a very spiritual person, I'm also very much aware that you can't just like be like, mm, I'm gonna have like a five million house and just think that that's how manifestation works and putting it out in the universe makes it happen. That's not reality, that's not how it works. Like you need to be able, you need to vibrate at that level to attract that life into your life, right? So how can I picture all of this in my head and not, like I'm not going to get it because I'm nowhere near vibrating at that level. I'm nowhere near like thinking how that kind of person would think. So obviously that life is not going to happen to me. And that's okay because I can take action and I can take charge and it's never too late to do that. And I think that's ultimately as I come to end this video because my makeup is done now. But um as i come to end this video that is ultimately what i kind of want to put as a message like it's never too late to start ever like it is never ever ever too late to start regardless of how you feel regardless of like how um far ahead everyone else feels like they are like it's never too late to just start and starting and taking action is always going to start and help build belief and you know it the biggest motivator in the world is progress and progress only happens when you're consistent and you're okay with not being the best at the start because as you keep doing it and you're consistent and you keep working on it that's where the skill set will grow and you'll get to the level that you picture in your head and that you imagine yourself being if that makes sense Anyway, I'm really sorry that this video is so rambly. I hope you do enjoy this video and I'm going to be consistent. I will try. <laughs> I'm going to try and be consistent, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.